Dad! Grandma! It's time! Are you ready? Time for the annual Hatfield St Lawrence Christmas Eve Carol Service! Yes, what are we doing this year? Who wants to be a millionaire? A Christmas carol, I love that one. But, but why are we here? At home? Are we not in church on Christmas Eve? Have we missed it? What's wrong? Well, 2020 has been very different of a year for our church family and community. Families across the whole world, in fact. A virus has kept people apart. People have stayed home to stay safe and save lives. And it means that Christmas is different too. People are watching this from their own homes. It has been put together by our church children and families, filmed in their own homes. They've practised hard and filmed this at home, and Rachel, St Lawrence's children's and youth worker, has cleverly edited it together. It is the first time they've done anything like it. I think they're a little bit nervous. Although it's very different, they've tried to include some familiar parts of the service. We'll sing songs which we want people to join in from their own home. And we'll still share the magical story of the first Christmas. Definitely. Coronavirus may have kept everyone apart this Christmas, but the Christmas story can also bring us closer together tonight. Can we start as we always start by singing Come All Ye Faithful? Of course. Members of our congregation, who we miss so much, are helping us with the words.
see, it all started with an ordinary teenage girl called Mary and a very extraordinary visitor, an angel called Gabriel. Who are you? I am the angel Gabriel. I bring you good news. God has chosen you to have a baby. A baby? How could, how can that be? This baby will be called Jesus and he will be the son of God. I will trust in God and do whatever he wants of me. This little baby will bring joy to the world. called Joseph and she was engaged to be married to him. Joseph loved Mary. He cared about her a great deal and was looking forward to his marriage. When Mary came to tell him she, that she was expecting a baby, he was very sad. He knew that the baby wouldn't be his baby, but then he was also visited by an angel. Do not fear, Joseph. This baby will be God's son and you should help and support Mary. If God wills it, I will do all I can.
this was happening in a small corner of the Roman Empire called Nazareth. Back in Rome, the Emperor Caesar Augustus had decided it was time to count all its people. He issued an order for a census to be taken. In Mary and Joseph's village, soldiers nailed up an order for all, the, all citizens to register in the town where their family had come from. Joseph had to register in Bethlehem, where King David had been born. Mary and Joseph got ready for the long journey. By this time, Mary was heavily pregnant. It was almost time for her baby to be born. It was a long way for a pregnant woman to travel, and all she wanted to do when they arrived in Bethlehem was rest. many people had come to Bethlehem for the census. It was already busy and bustling, noisy and overcrowded. Joseph went from house to house and into inn looking for a place to stay. Have you any room? Zero to in! Have you any room? There's no room at the inn. Excuse me, have you any room? My wife is tired and about to have a baby. 
Oh, I'm sorry, our inner's full, but you can use the stable. Thank you! So that night, in the stable, Jesus was born. Mary wrapped him up warmly and laid him in the manger. It was the first Christmas. Jesus, God's son, was born. people had been awaiting the birth of Jesus the Saviour, but when he was born, only two types of people came to visit him. On the hills outside Bethlehem, there were some shepherds watching their sheep. The night was quiet and they were chatting comfortably or sleeping by the fire, but suddenly the sky was alight, dazzling them with its brightness. <laughs> More angels, I'm scared. Don't be afraid, we bring you good news of great joy. A baby has been born this night in Bethlehem. This, this baby is called Jesus Christ. He, he is a saviour. He will bring peace to the world. You'll find him wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Let's go to town and visit this baby, what the angels have told us about. Let's tell everyone about the wonderful baby. The people to visit Jesus were wise men who spent their time looking at the stars and outer space. We have been studying the night skies and I've seen a star we haven't seen before. We believe that a new star is a sign that a new king has been born. Let yeah, us follow the star so that we can worship a new king. They followed the star as far as Jerusalem, bringing gifts so that they could worship the new king.
Jerusalem, they asked where the king, the king of the Jews, had been born. But the Jews had a man who believed he was king already. King Herod wasn't a good or a kind king. He was a scheming, ruthless and cruel king. And he didn't like the idea that someone was about to replace him. Herod called together the chief priests and found out that a new king had been promised to the people and that he would be born in Bethlehem. Herod told the wise men where Jesus was to be found and sent them to Bethlehem, but he also asked them to tell him all about it when they returned so that he could worship him too. And so the wise men travelled on to Bethlehem, where they found Mary with her baby. They, there they worshipped Jesus and brought him gifts. I bring the gift of gold. I bring the gift of frankincense. I bring the gift of myrrh. Mary received all these gifts silently. She wondered all the time what the future held for this special baby. The wise men were warned in a dream by God not to tell King Herod about Jesus, and so went home another way. And of what is important, family, hope, love, peace and joy. In a year that has kept us apart, we have all been brought together tonight to remember the birth of a special baby.
come into church on Christmas Eve to make sure everything's ready for tomorrow, for Christmas Day. But I've just noticed there's something missing. I've looked inside the crib and there's no Mary and Joseph. I thought they'd be back by now. But I know this year's been a bit different. They've not been able to stay overnight at people's homes. They've had to find places to stay in Hatfield. And they've been all over the place. Have you seen on Facebook? Have you been able to work out where they've been? They've certainly covered a lot of ground. I wonder if they've got a bit lost. I wonder if they can't find the way back. I wonder where they are. Oh, just a minute. I've just heard the church door. Here they are. They're coming now. Emily and Kate have managed to find them. So they'll bring them now to the crib. There, they're back again. Thanks, Emily and Kate. It's really good to welcome Mary and Joseph back. Whoops, Joseph's fallen over. Let's pick him up and make sure he's all right. And then we'll put him in the manger with Mary, where it's a bit warmer. And tomorrow, on Christmas Day, we will place Jesus in the manger as well. It's good to remember that first Christmas when Jesus was born as a little baby. But you know, that's a bit odd really. Jesus, the Son of Almighty God, born in a smelly stable. No help for Mary except for Joseph, with the animals watching on. It must have been a bit cold too. But never mind, at least they're back. At least they're sheltered. At least they're safe. Hi, it's me, Rachel. The Youth, Children and Families worker here at St Lawrence Church. Are you enjoying the Christmas Eve service? Well, there's not long left now until you can go out and jingle your bells on your doorstep. Um, our church bells will be joining in too. And make sure that you've left everything out ready for Santa coming tonight. <gasps> but... We do have a couple of surprises left in store for you. So we've enjoyed the nativity. We've enjoyed Reverend Liz welcoming Mary and Joseph back into the stable. But some of you may have seen me on your screens in your school classrooms this term um, delivering some collective worship. And you might remember this guy. You might remember Shepherd Stephen. Now, Shepherd Stephen, has been a little bit forgetful and he left his sheep all over the DN7 area from Hatfield to Dunsville to Dunscroft to Stainforth and you guys have been amazing going out and finding them for him getting the names bringing them back and I know a lot of you have been to church to collect your prize well done you've been out in the rain and the cold it's not been the best December for being out sheep hunting now Shepherd Stephen has decided to give to baby Jesus one of his sheep as a present, which is really kind of him. And lots of you have submitted an answer online as to who you think Shepherd Stephen should give to baby Jesus from all of the names of the sheep that were across the DN7 area. And he's going to tell me now which sheep he has chosen to give. Right. So if you submitted this answer online, I will be in touch in the new year to deliver your prize. And the sheep that Shepherd Stephen has chosen is Sheepy Muck Sheep Face. Ah! So if you chose Sheepy Muck Sheep Face, I will be in touch and you have won yourself a knitted sheep. How amazing. Now I have one final surprise for you tonight. We've had some amazing acting performances from our children. We've had some amazing songs. Um, but this year, we knew it would be a little bit different. We knew that we wouldn't be able to be in church for our carol services, for our school carol services. We knew that singing was a little bit hard and dangerous at the moment because of COVID. And so we asked you to join a virtual ch noisy children's choir. 
and we've had lots of children come and take part in this at home, watching workshops each week, learning a fantastic and fun new Christmas song. And I'm going to present it to you tonight. We've made a video filmed from their own home. So thank you to the children. This has been the first time we've done this. Thank you to the parents who had to try and film them. And without further ado, I want to present to you the song Sent From Above, performed by our brand new Noisy Children's Choir. King of kings was born as a baby. Jesus, the savior of the world, came down to us. Jesus, the prince of peace was born as a baby. Jesus, was sent to us as a gift from God. Wow, well wasn't that fantastic? I hope that's got you in the Christmas spirit and in the mood to go out and jingle your bells. I'm just going to pray to close our Christmas Eve service and then I'm going to wish you a Merry Christmas from everyone here at St Lawrence Church. So if you can put your hands together and close your eyes. Father God, thank you that we can celebrate the birth of your son, Jesus Christ, at Christmas time. That his was a simple story and a simple Christmas in a stable. And even if our Christmas is like that this year, we pray that you would be with us, that you would keep us and our families safe and that we would have a joyous Christmas. And we look forward to everything that you have in store for us in 2021. Amen. Have a Merry Christmas and we'll see you next year. was born as a baby. Jesus, the Savior of the world, came down to us. Jesus, the Prince of Peace, was born as a baby. Jesus, was sent to us as
is a gift from God above.